after the nth root of a where n is called as an order root sign is called as radical sign and the number under the root sign or the radical sign is called as radicand or base in square root of 3 2 is an order and 3 is radicand or base by definition of the third if the nth root of whole number gives irrational value as answer then it is called as third for example square root of 3 can you tell me any two numbers which when multiplied with each other give answer as 3 so well the answer is such number doesn't exist hence the answer which we get is irrational value of square root of 3 is 1.732050 and so on till infinity which is irrational number because the digits after the decimal points are not terminating and non-recurring since square root of 3 gives irrational number as a answer it qualifies as a third square root of 2 square root of 5 cube root of 5 fifth root of 10 are some of the examples of third. We have to only ensure that the answer has to be irrational. Remember square root of 4, cube root of 8 and square root of 9 are not thirds because it gives result as a rational number. Square root of 4 is 2, cube root of 8 is also 2 and square root of 9 is equal to 3. You can see the result is rational number here. Let's get into more details now. Let's understand how the real numbers are classified. So, real numbers are classified as either rational number or irrational number. So, irrational numbers are square root of 2, cube root of 5, square root of 6 and so on. Also, there is another special category of irrational number. Those are pi and e that is Euler's number. This category of irrational number is called as third. Whereas, pi and e are not thirds. We just wanted to let you know that there is a common gap in understanding that all irrational numbers are thirds, which is incorrect. We hope friends you found our video quite informative. If yes, please do subscribe our channel, like our video and keep in touch with us for more videos 